Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the most recent test server update notes for January the 6th. First, I want to welcome all the new arrivals to the channel as well as returning visitors. Be sure you guys click on that watermark in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe so you'll get all the latest notifications. The team fixed an upgrade issue with components in certain conditions of durability and they closed the gaps that could be found in the various gate build pieces. As you can see, I'm not getting base permissions as I'm looking down at the deck foundation. It now requires that we have the stronghold hammer either equipped or on our character to now access the permissions. This was an excellent quality of life change that I'm sure quite a few people will appreciate. Nail cost has been completely removed from the metal shack recipe. It will now just require wood, steel, and screws. The barbecue grill no longer drops a non-functional item when you pick it up. We'd get this dead loot bag as though there was something there in the barbecue grill, but then it would just end up being this empty slot dropped item. The team addressed an issue that was causing problems with players driving down steep or odd angled foundation ramps. And we're seeing the introduction of the assault ramp. The name is kind of amusing to me, but I digress. It can be crafted with four steel and four screws. The ramp is placed like most build components with guided green highlights. It is a one-time fixed placement as you're not able to pick it back up. So once it's placed, it's there. I'm going to assume that it has a durability timer and will just despawn. The recent changes to the 308 rifle damage to helmets has now been reverted. Regardless of the 308 tier, it will go through all helmets. You'll notice a reduction in Exploder, Gasser, and Banshee zombies. Although I did still see some out there while I was recording and zombie pathing through foundations has been addressed. Stamina regeneration has been increased and we can now regain stamina from all Super Raid drinks along with their hydration bonuses. And we get stamina from crafted juices, but the team may want to add crafting juices to the cooking filter. That would be appreciated. You can see all the specific details to the notes from the link down in the published section. You can also stop by the H1Z1DB website, a comprehensive database of game related items and news. It also features the H1Z1 interactive maps. While you're surfing, you can also swing by the H1Z1 forums where you'll find all sorts of game discussions and links to fellow YouTubers and Twitch casters content. Our friends at Survivor's Rest is also a great stopping place for a collection of awesome game related information and specifically a link to tradable game related items for those who want to trade off some of their crate stuff. So be sure that you stop by and add these sites to your Just Survive bookmarks. Thank you guys for your continued support and I want to thank all of you who recently participated in the community commentary video. It hit all sorts of metric records for the last 28 days. I appreciate your guys participation as always and I tried to answer as many of you as I could in the comment section. Keep those comments flowing and continue supporting the channel. And that's been your look at the test server update notes for January the 6th. Be sure you click on this channel icon that's appearing on the screen to ensure that you're getting all the latest updates and you can just click on that notification bell so you will have all the latest out of Daybreak and just survive along with any additional community news.